guys, I've been messing with this long enough. This is Mad Bob's Top of the Keyway Tension Set. This is the brand new one. If you register to win, this is the one you're going to get. These are 16 pounds, which works out to $21 US. And you get this nice, bright blue nylon case, and inside of there you get a total of six tension wrenches. I'm not going to use the new one. I'm going to use the kit that I put all the miles on over the last couple months here in the lock lab to show you a couple things that I've learned. Let's take a closer look first at the wrenches. They're all stainless steel. You get a short end, you get a long end, and each of the ends has been cut with a depth limiter so you can't put it too deep into the lock. They're all engraved with the thickness. You notice this one is 1.2 millimeter in that dimension. So 1.2 millimeter, 1 millimeter, and 0.8 millimeter. Now, because they look identical from a distance, like they're down on my picking tray, I, I found myself grabbing the wrong one all the time. So in order to make it easy on myself and to save time, I just put these pieces of shrink wrap on there. So American flag, red, white, and blue. I always say the numbers in that sequence. So red is the thick one, white, medium, and then blue is the 0.8 or the thin one. So we got straight wrenches. Now let's take a look at the difference. Let's say we're trying to pick this lock. Now, if we just take the thin one, or the short end, and we line it up there, you may say, well, that's good. I'm going to go ahead and pick like that. But then you're probably, if it's lined up right, you're probably going to hit that rivet. You see, we don't have any clearance. It'll bounce off that rivet. You're going to drop your tension wrench, and then you're going to be picking it again. So we got the deep end, and now we have plenty of clearance. So if you have a deep uh, set or a sunken keyway, you want to use the deep end. Now, when you're picking a padlock, this straight wrench is a little bit odd. First of all, notice my finger is almost perfectly vertical. And then if I want to pick it, I've got to, I've got to take my wrist. That also is almost 90 degrees. And then I've got to turn it so it's halfway comfortable so I can get the pick up inside of there. And my hand actually blocks the keyway. I really can't see counter-rotation. It's all feel. So to use a straight wrench on a lock that you're holding in your hand, probably not the best choice. That's why Mad Bob's gives you these curved ones. So if you guys have been wondering what these are for, if you hold locks in your hand, you're going to love these curved ones. Because right away you notice my finger isn't 90 degrees, much more comfortable angle. I can pick this, my wrist also is at 90, not at 90 degrees, and I can pick it very comfortably, and I can see the keyway, and I can see the feedback, as well as feel it with the finger. So these wrenches are identical in dimensions. They've just got a little S-curve in them, okay? Let's talk about that depth, okay? When do we want to use that deep one? Well, you saw when we got rivets, or when we have an inset lock. This is an American padlock, and you notice when we take the deep end and slide that dude in there, now, now we start to see, I've showed you the good stuff. Let's talk a little bit about the not-so-good stuff. This barely clears the top of that lock, but it does clear it. There's no rubbing there. But, let me get the pick here. It does rub against the armor plating, and that's because this radius on this pick is a large radius. And let's compare it. So let's bring some of Mad Bob's competitors in here. These are the traditional top of the keyways. I think you guys have seen me using these off and on. This is a Peterson. This is a technical entry. This one is by Sparrows, and this one is Sparrows' newest edition. It's, it's got a uh, tensioner built on the side for tubular locks, and this comes as a set, and they got comb picks on them as well. So a lot of different things built into that. But when you look at these, you'll notice that, if I can get it to play right here, you'll notice that the angle here, this is a much smaller radius, which means you can reach into that lock quite a distance without rubbing on anything. So we take that guy in there, not only with the clearance like that, but he's also not rubbing on that armor plate like the Mad Bob's was. It's the same for all of these. And, you know, there's been some cross-pollination. Let's just grab these two guys. They are almost all identical. When you hold them, this is the technical entry and the Peterson. As I said, the Peterson has actually invented these. Uh, you'll notice they're, they're perfectly lined up. They're mirror copies, except for the notch on the technical entry. They are identical. So there have definitely been some copying going on here on technical entries part and maybe some of the others. All right, let's get back to this guy. We got one small deficiency, and that would be that radius. And how do I overcome it? Well, you just make the radius smaller. I, this is not a great job, but I was picking a lock. I ran into that problem. So I took a file, filed out that radius just a little bit, and now, bam, perfect clearance in every way. 
So just understand if you get this kit, you're going to have to spend about 30 seconds per pick filing that radius out just a little bit to give yourself clearance on these inset locks. So anyway, there you go. If you'd like to win this brand new one, you don't have to have that one. It's all got two months worth of wear on it. Get this brand new one. Go to the website, which is located right there, and click on the weekly free fan giveaway button, and uh, you can win this brand new Mad Bobs. By the way, winning is probably the fastest way for you to get these things. Like I said, they're $21. Um, Everything in Mad Bob's catalog, for some reason, is backlogged like four or five weeks. I wanted to give away a brand new one instead of this beat-up one that I've been hacking on for the last couple months. And I had to wait four weeks for this new one to be delivered. But register to win, win, and you can get that. Otherwise, you might have to spend a little bit of time waiting. But it's wait time well invested. This is a great kit. You're going to see me continue to use this in the Lock Lab. I really do like it. And I really do recommend it, especially at that price. Some of these others, like this Peterson, just for one, they're ten dollars. So you get a whole set of six for twenty-one bucks. You really can't beat the, either the quality or, or the economics or the price of it. Anyway, fellas, thanks for your time. Stay safe. Stay legal.